Okay, so that's who we need to look for next. Okay, so we need to go for a goalie. See if there's any good goalies still left. Okay, so it looks like Kevin Poulin is the best one available. He doesn't want all that much either. Either him or Jonas Hiller. Him or Jonas Hiller. Oh, let's check out their things. Uh, four stars, three and a half, four. Three and a half, four, four. Puck control really doesn't all matter all that much to me. I'd rather have his reflexes category, <coughs> his athletic category better. So why don't we try to go after uh, Kevin Poulin from the island? <coughs> from the island, is there any teams interested in him? Chicago's interested in him. I uh, would want him for one year, and we'll just bump that up to two. Hopefully, he accepts that. <coughs> there you go. And now we can pretty much sign some rookies. So there's some we got some goal there's some goalie prospects in here. Uh Peterson, William Rusko is back up here again. He's four star still. He's twenty six years old now. He's a minor league starter. <clears throat> or we could just go after this uh Ron Peterson guy, four stars. Mm, yeah, we'll go after this guy. Just sign him, why not? Trade assets, why not? And then uh, some other rookie forwards. Are any rookie forwards? Uh, Hurtle. Uh, Tomas Hurtle. It's three and a half. Why not? Kevin Up no. Opatrick no. Who's this guy? Dan Dubowitzkis. I don't even know how to say that name. Dubowalix. Peyton Reuter. Yeah, we can sign this guy. He's a power forward. 25 years old. Three and a half stars. Why not? These guys could be NHL ready next year, so why not? We could sign these guys. Um, Two-way contract. Anaheim's interested in him. Yeah, let's get him for three years on a two-way. Why not? Oh, shit. What was that? Uh Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. He's a uh, restricted free agent. I didn't literally look at the uh, unrestricted free agents all that much. So I'll just bump him up to 8.23 way. Yep. Do that. See if Anaheim matches that. Uh, do it, maybe. Yeah, he's a little bit too low of an overall. Hurtle wouldn't be bad to pick up, maybe. He's a what again? He's a two-way forward. Do it, is a two-way forward as well. But he's 23. So we'll give this guy... Uh, one year. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> okay, those are the forwards and defensive prospects. A lot of these guys will probably say no. No, Hampus Lindholm, he's a depth forward. <clears throat> offensive, defensive, and there's not really any good, uh, no defensive prospects. Okay. So it's basically keep advancing up to a day. See who signs. Uh, but I've but you have a full roster. Okay, I expected that. So we need to get rid of some of these goalies if I want to try to sign Kevin Poulin. Unless he already signed with the team. So goalies, we have way too many goalies signed here. Uh, let's see. So we know Konachev is the the starting. Sorensen. We don't really need Sharpen and Sorensen. We can get rid of one of them, as well as Lundstrom too. And poly and uh, polyga. So let's see if we can get rid of which one's older, Sorensen or Sharpenin. We'll get rid of Sharpenin. He has uh, how good of overall is he? He's 63. And Sorensen, Kimu Sorensen is 59. Okay, we'll give up. We'll give up Sorensen. We will give up Kimu Sorensen and I still want to keep Grice. I want to give up Lundstrom. If any team wants Sorensen, uh, Vancouver, why not? Just give me a draft pick for him. I really don't care right now. Well, we could get Corey Schneider technically. Um, I actually think they have way too many goalies under contract. San Jose. Uh, God, they signed Sadikov. <laughs> uh, just give me a, um, 
kind of burrish. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, just give me a draft pick for you guys. I don't really give a crap all that much. Draft pick, uh, second round pick. No, they can't do that. Just somebody that can take a. Uh, if I can take these guys. Come on, there's gotta be somebody. There's gotta be somebody that can take them. Come on, there's gotta be s some team that can take uh, both of these goalies. We gotta take off Lundstrom. Okay, if we take off Lundstrom, we could get uh, Kimo Sorensen for Anaheim's first round pick. Uh, meter trade block, whatever. Boston. Somebody with a really low draft pick. Boston's is way too good. Buffalo's, nope. Calgary, no. Carolina, maybe. Carolina. No. Chicago, no. Colorado, well, Colorado, maybe. No. Quite close to fair. Columbus. No, Dallas, no. Detroit, no. Edmonton, no. They don't have anything. Florida, LA. There we go. The LA Kings will do that. Thank you. Flyers West, looking out for each other. And actually, you know what? I want to make another trade. Just want to trade away those. Those, uh, uns even though it really doesn't matter. I want to trade away Lundstrom. And, uh, Paul Gia, why not? Uh, yeah, we really won't get much for these guys anyway. So we'll just send them to the west so they don't bother us. Vancouver. Uh, third, a third and a fourth for these guys. Okay, not the fourth. Third round pick. No. Fine, just take a fourth. Yeah, cheering in the streets. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and it's okay. So we made room. Made room on the goalie roster. And okay, so pool indeed the sign Hiller. Looks like he may retire soon, but that's fine. I'd rather have him as a, a backup right now. Rather than uh rather than uh, what's his face? Uh Grice. So yeah, one point one year at one point six for Jonas Hiller. We'll get him signed. We still have all those rookies too that we need to uh see if they sign as well. Uh, okay, so Ron Peterson, he accepted. Just got to keep some million update by day. Uh, okay, Dual White Licks, he accepted. We'll just call him Dan Dubile. Uh, okay, Peyton Reuter, he accepted it. Well, he, accepted, he accepted our offer sheet. Still waiting on Hiller. Uh, I've had actually, but you have no longer cap space. Ah, son of a bitch. Because we have Peyton Reuter. Okay, hopefully Hiller still stays there for a little bit. Him, I, okay, cool. The Ducks chose to match that. Thank you. Which means we could go back to Hiller again. Alright, and he only, he wants two years at 1.5 now. Uh, I still want to give you the one year deal at 1.9, 1.695. For Jonas Hiller. Keep going up little by little. Let's see if Hiller signs. Jesus Christ. And cool. Okay. And if that's the case then. We don't really need Thomas Grice anymore. Eh, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's on a two-way contract. So it doesn't doesn't affect our salary cap in any way. Okay, so I think that's basically it. So let's get out of free agency. Let's start editing up these lines. So like I said, we have a very, very, very young team this year now. Very young. Um, I don't know if we'll be making a Stanley Cup run. It's definitely going to matter for the first month of this season whether or not we're going to have to uh, trade away some of the guys or not. Like if we're not, if we're not a playoff team, right off the bat, then uh, Giroux is on his last year of his contract. I don't want to really trade him away, but if I have to, I will. So, no one really is safe right now. But, I mean, we do have a pretty good defensive core. Picking up Nathan Beaulieu definitely gives, jump starts that defensive core. Nathan Beaulieu definitely uh, covers up. 
the loss of Duncan Simons. Most definitely it does. Most definitely it does. All right, we just got to get through. Stinking simulations here. Risco's still a free agent, which is interesting. No one has signed him yet. He's a four-star goalie prospect, and no one has picked him up. It's very interesting how no one has signed him yet. All right, I'm just going to chill back let this dang simulation go through. It's a boring part right here. Yeah, no one is. No one is. No, nah, no one signed him. It's really interesting. Not yet, at least. I'm not even gonna worry about depth players for the playoffs this year. I think we're just gonna roll with it. Just get up to the ready here. And here we go. Okay, reset. Okay. You're entering year eight as GM of the Philadelphia Flyers. Time has flown by. Since this is your last year, I'll be paying attention to what you do this year. And when considering a renewal, I want you to get 52 wins this year. Okay, that may be very difficult to get. But now we are ready to technically mess with these lines. So let's go to uh, roster moves and let's make sure everybody who's up here is up here. Okay, so goalies. Gordon Peckham and Jonas Hiller, good. Grice Konachev, Peterson, Sharpenden are down there in the minors, good. Okay, so defensemen. Ryan Murray, Theodore, Pulak, Beaulieu, Joseph Morrow, and Arturi Lekkinen, good. So we got, and then we got Muller, Hedja, Keitner down there in the minors. Okay, uh, all forwards. Okay, so Giroux, Galchenyuk, Shinkrook, Braden Shen, Jeff Skinner, Dane Fox, Coots. Latundras, Winnick, Monahan, Hart, Eddie Watt, no. Uh, okay, Cousins, you come up. Klimchuk, you come up for now. Uh, yeah, well, Klimchuk, you come up for now. Eddie Watt, you come down. Klimchuk, you come up. And then, yeah. Uh, we are salary cap compliant, which is good. Just barely. Just barely, but we are salary cap we do make the salary cap. We can technically send down one, either Latundras or uh, what's his face. Because how many how many people do we have up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we have thirteen people up here. So somebody has to somebody has to go down to the miners. Uh, it's more than likely going to be Latundras. I think. Maybe or it might be Daniel. It might be Daniel Winnick actually. 83, 82, 83, 84, 81. Body checking is good. Or uh, 82, 83, 81, 80, 84. Let me check that again. 83, 82, 83. Mm. You know, I think it has to be Latundras up here instead of a uh, Winnick. Yeah, so Winnick, you go down to the minors. So we got 2.4 salary cap room left. And there we go. We'll leave him right in there. Uh, best lines, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's the roster move set up. And now let's edit these lines to what they should be. Okay, so first line. We know we want Giroux. Galchenyuk, he is a natural. Oh, he's a center, like I said. But he is the new top gun. Still want Giroux taking the center because of his face-offs. is technically... Better than Galchenyuk's. Um, I was thinking about putting Shenkrook in the center this year, maybe. But he is technically a left wing. And uh, his point total has been dropping the past couple of years, but still, he's been getting point a game player, so I'm not really going to complain about that all that much. But I would like to, I would like to see what maybe Shenkrook can do in the center. Hmm. It's difficult to decide. On this one, you know what? I really wouldn't want to change what the first line's been doing the past couple of years. Well, Galchenyuk, 
Galchenyuk was playing on the... He was a lefty, and then we had him on the right. Yeah, because Shinkrook's a natural left wing, so we were playing him there. And we were playing Galchenyuk on the right side. So this is where he had this breakout season last year of 90, 90 points in 82 games. So we want to keep him on this right side. But I think for the start of the season, I'm going to put Shinkrook in the middle and put Claude Giroux on a wing. Just because Shinkrook does have better face-offs, I'm going to test this out, see what... See if this will make any difference whatsoever. Shinkrick still has the amazing category, but I want to put him in the center because he has better face off. See what that does. Like I said, we got three playmakers on the first line. It would be good to have a sniper. Like it would be good to spread it out a little bit by putting like Jeff Skinner on the first line, just because he is a sniper. But technically all these guys have better offensive categories than Skinner does in the first place. Okay, so that's that. Second line is going to be Braden Shen, Jeff Skinner on the left. And I think it's going to be between Dane Fox or Sean Couturier. Now, Dane Fox has one hell of a wrist shot. <clears throat> he has one hell of a wrist shot. His passing, he he has one hell of a wrist shot. He can, deke for, he can deke for days. His passing is good and his offensive awareness is good. And he can body check. Sean Couturier has high 80s for his shot. His passing is not that good. He has better offensive awareness. His poise is... Very good. Yeah, you know what? Coots, like, I'm sorry, but I would want, I would love to put you on this first line. But I have to give it to Dane Fox. He's one year younger than you. I'm going to put him on the first line right wing spot. That is what's going to happen. He is technically a center. Him and Shen, I think, have the exact same face off. 75, 75. Yep. Shen is a lefty. Dane Fox is also a lefty. Skinner, I think, is a righty. Now he's a lefty as well, so okay, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll leave Skinner, Shen, and Fox. And then third line, Coots. Uh, Sean Couturier. Well, actually, no. He doesn't have the best face-offs. Uh, Nick Cousins, does he have good face-offs? No. Jaden Hart. Uh, Klimchuk. Uh, that's not what I wanted to look at. Klimchuk. Klimchuk, do you have good face-offs? No. Jaden Hart does. I know he has good face-offs. Sean Monahan, he has good face-offs. Okay, so the way that it looks like right now, either has to be Jaden Hart or Sean Monahan has to play this third line. So Klimchuk might be getting fourth line time, which technically isn't all that bad because he's technically technically considered a depth forward. Um, hmm. Okay, so and Latundras. He has 60 as well. Okay, so Latundras goes down here. Who do we want to play on the third line? Hart or Monahan? Jaden Hart uh, doesn't pass all that well. His offensive awareness isn't all that good. Sean Monahan. He's got a better shot. He's got a better passing. Yeah, I want Sean Monahan up here rather than Jaden Hart. No. Jaden Hart goes down here. And then Cousins or Klimchuk. Yeah, uh, it has to be the Cousins over Morgan Klimchuk. No, the way it looks, I rather would not want Morgan Klimchuk playing fourth line time. I'd rather him get first line duty in the uh, AHL, the way I see it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the way I think it's going to have to be is Morgan Klimchuk is probably going to get sent down. To the minors, yeah, I know. Uh, I have to bring up. I have to bring up Winnick. Klimchuk goes down. Winnick goes here on the fourth line. Scrap. Play him. He goes down there on the fourth line. He is a left wing. Latundras is a left wing as well. Yeah, but I'd rather put Winnick over here. Okay, so. That's the way we have it set up for right now. Claude Giroux, Hunter Shinkrook, Alex Galchenyuk, Jeff Skinner, Raiden Shen, Dane Fox, Sean Couturier, Sean Monahan, Nick Cousins, and then Daniel Winnick, Jaden Hart, and uh, Latundras. So that's the only issue we have right now is if we play, it's it's you guys will have to let me know. Should Morgan Klimchuk get time, and where sh if he should get time, where should he go? Like the way it looks right now is he would probably get first line time, first line, uh, first line time, 
in the minor leagues the way it looks right now, just because I I would rather him get first line time in the minors rather than playing on the fourth line in the AHL, and I want uh, Nick Cousins playing third line time in the NHL over <clears throat> over him anyway because he has better <clears throat> better offensive category than Klimchuk does. So that's the only reason I made that. Okay, defense on the other hand, Murray and I want Theodore up here because I want him over Ryan Pulock. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. yeah, I want. Unless the is Theodore younger still? Now nah, him and Pulock are the same age now. Okay, so Pulock and Bolu. Uh, Bolu is a he's an offensive defenseman. It doesn't actually say if he's a right or a left, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think it actually does. No, it doesn't. You can play them wherever you want. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, uh, so Murray, Theodore, Pulak, Bolu, Morrow, Lekkinen. I'm not going to switch that up anyway whatsoever. I'll leave it the way they have it. Power play. Um, so I'm going to leave the first line the same. Shinkrook, Drew Shinkrook, Galchenyuk, Theodore, and Pulak. Yep, and then Bolu and Murray. I'm not going to touch the defense. Leave it the way they have it. And then Shen in the middle, Jeff Skinner, and do we want Dane Fox or Nick Cousins maybe? I think Nick Cousins should get power play time. Yeah, we'll try it out. We'll try Nick Cousins on the power play for right now. See what you guys think of that. I think that's how it has to be over, um, over Dane Fox. I mean, Dane Fox does have the good offensive category. Well, it's really only his wrist shot that's good. And he does have some defense, but Shen's got it covered on defense anyway. So we'll we'll see what Nick Cousins can do on the, second, on the power play. Uh, Four-man power play, uh, Giroux, well, you know what? I think Giroux might get a time on the second line now because Galchenyuk, yeah, you know what? I'd rather give Galchenyuk first line time over Giroux. So Galchenyuk and Shinkrook with Theodore and Pulak. Giroux and Galchenyuk, Shinkrook, and then Giroux and Skinner. Drew and Skinner or Giroux and Shen? Uh, yes. Braden Shen. Braden Shen. And I'll have him take the face-offs. Shen and Giroux with Bolu and Ryan Murray. Fine by that. Penalty kill. Okay, so for the penalty kill, they want Jaden Hart up there. Don't like that whatsoever. Shen, you get to the first line with Shen Karuk. And then... <sighs> okay. Coots, I think, wouldn't be bad. Coots that would not be bad. We could have maybe Coots and Dane Fox play on the penalty kill. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Dane Fox and Sean Couturier get in there for the penalty kill. Uh whoops, I took Fox off. Okay, so Dane Fox and Sean Couturier can play the penalty kill. I'm fine with that. Because those are some of the two best defensive guys we have on our team. So our penalty kill is actually pretty dirty with Shen, Shinkarook, Dane Fox, and Coots. Murray and Pulak. Uh, let's check these guys out. Murray, yes, I know. Pulak, I am fine with that. Joseph Morrow, they want on there. Not so sure if I want that. Che Theodore, I agree with. But I want him up here. Actually, no, does Pulak have better defensive stats than Theodore does? Yes, he does, so I want him playing there. And uh, maybe it might be Nathan Beaulieu <clears throat> playing there. 89, 86, 84. That's not bad. And how's our Terry Lekkinen's stats look? 84, 82, 85. It's not bad, but Bolu has better stats than him. So I'm going to put Bolu on the penalty kill. Three-man penalty kill. It's going to be um, Braden Shen. And I think... Does Shinkrook or Dane Fox have better stats? 91, 89, 88. Fox has... 96, 92, 85, yes. Dane Fox gets a priority over Hunter Shinkrook. Joseph Morrow goes out with Bull U. Okay, 4-4. Four four. Uh, Galchenyuk, Shinkrook, Giroux, Skinner. And then Shen and put Dane Fox there. Joseph Morrow and Arturi Lekkinen, yep. Extra attackers, Galchenyuk and Giroux. Goalies, Gordon Peckham with Jonas Hiller. Shootout lineup. I am fine with that. Just put Shen and Skinner in there. Brain Shen and Jeff Skinner. There, and that's basically our uh, NHL lineup. Yeah, so let me go. Let me know what you guys think about this. 
I'll do the uh, I'll do the phantoms right now. So uh, let's see. So who's who's uh, okay? So Klimchuk, you got to play. Okay, so I'll scratch Boardson. Klimchuk, you play. Uh, okay. Anybody else? Anybody else that really needs to sit? Who's playing? Uh, Kuchin, I think he needs to play. Yeah, he's three and a half stars. Kuchin needs to play. Uh, Volchenkov, I will scratch you. Volchenkov gets scratched. And Kuchin, or Kuchin, can play there. And that's basically it. Okay, so the first line is going to be uh, Morgan Klimchuk. Klimchuk will play the first line. Uh, Zu no, we don't want Zubris up there. Uh, Jalmerson. No, he's two. Uh, Lance Lundmark, I think. Yeah, Lance Lundmark. And... Is it Savernoff? No. Uh, Eddie Watt, right? Yeah, Eddie Watt. Definitely Eddie Watt. Okay, so there's our first line for the Miners Leagues. So Eddie Watt, Morgan Klimchuk, and Lance Lundmark on the first line. Second line, I think, is going to be Pekka Henson, and he's three and a half, right? Yeah. Henson in, goes up here. Uh, Dubulowitsk, Duby, Dubile, whatever. Dubile, he can play up there. And, uh, Cookin, yeah, he can play up there as well. It's 59 sniper, that's fine. Gets, gets these guys experience. And then, basically, whatever. Uh, Zubris, he's three stars, so he can technically play there. Bombak, and Hackert. Yeah, and then uh, Jalmerson, Savernoff, and Andrew Rowe. And instead of a uh, Savernoff, I think I would rather switch him switch him out with Bordson. Yeah, Savernoff, you can uh, get scratched. And I'd rather put in uh, Bordson there, just so we get some better uh, players in here. Because I want the AHL team to do good for once, do well for once. So I'll move these guys up, everybody else. Uh, well, except for Zubers. Zubers can stay. Roe can stay down there. Uh, Bombak, yeah, you can go down there. Jalmerson, I'll move you up instead of Hacker. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so that's the way. So Watt, Klimchuk, and Lundmark are three four-star prospects are playing there on the offense. Uh, I'll go back and change, like, face-offs and all that stuff later. Okay, defense, Moeller and... Hedja, I think Muller is the three and a half. Yes, Hedja is the three and uh, three and a half. Keitner is three and a half. Bergforce is two. Whoa, why do we have oh why do we have uh, Stortini playing on the defensive side? Why do we have that? Don't know why we have that. Um, yeah, we don't have enough defense playing on here. Okay, so Stortini. You need to play over here some ways, someplace. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Hacker. Yeah, I'll take out Hacker. Put Stortini in there. Uh, yes, Stortini, you get moved up in f instead of a... Let's do Dubile. Kuchin, you can play the third line now instead of Jalmerson. Yep, let Jalmerson play down there. And, uh, okay, so we need a defender... Somebody on offense who can play defense pretty dang well. Um, need a high, like, two-way forward. Bordson, can you play defense? Yeah, you can play decent defense. Why not? Throw him on there. <laughs> why not? It's only third line duty. It's not that not that bad. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> We're running a little bit. We're running short on players for the uh, NHL team. The, uh, the AHL team, but that's fine. So, Muller, Hetcha... Burforce, Keitner. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, uh, power play. Just keep it the same. Eddie Watt. Klimchuk. And... Who is it? Lundmark. Lundmark. And then... Stortini. Stortini, Stortini... Stortini, uh, Henson in. Henson's a grinder, isn't he? Yeah, he's a grinder. But he's three and a half stars, so I want him playing up. Henson in, and, uh, and, uh, what's his face? 
God, I keep going back and forth. Dubai, yeah. Or Dubielli, I don't know how to say his goddamn name. Moeller and Hedja. And then Bergforce and Keitner. Okay, 4 and 4, Watt and Klimchuk. And then uh, the, the, the Lundmark and. Lundmark and Stortini. Muller and Hedja. Bergforce and Keitner. Penalty kill. Uh, sure, why not? I'll leave the penalty kill the same. I think uh, Klimchuk. Probably should play the penalty kill as well. He's got a good defense awareness, so why not? I'll play, put him on there. Muller, Hedge, uh, Bergforce, and Keitner. Yep, I'm fine with that. Actually, no. Muller, Hedge, uh, uh, should be Bergforce. Wait a minute, did we have a three and a half star prospect? Bergforce is only two stars. Huh. Okay, never mind. Um. Yeah, Bird Force and Carter, okay. Leave that and then three minute penalty kill Eddie Watt and Henson in. Put him on there because he's a grinder. Muller headshot, Bird Force Kitner. Yep, uh, four on four. Yeah, I'll leave the four on four the same. Uh who's not in there? Uh instead of Dubai I'll put uh Klimchuk there. Then I'll put uh Dubile here, double D. That's what I'm gonna call him, double D. And uh What's his face? Nah. Lamarck. Stortini. And then, uh, Henson in right there. Extra attacker going to be Klimchuk and Eddie Watt. Thomas Grace, Pavel Konachev, you are starting. Right? Unless we want it to be Peterson. Nah, I'd rather give Konachev some starts. But instead of Grace, it's going to be, uh, Peterson in there as well. Shootouts. Eddie Watt. Uh, Klimchuk. Oh god, they vanished. Glitch. Uh, Klimchuk. Lundmark. Uh, Dub and Stortini. Oh my god. Really? Uh, whatever. I'll just leave Andrew Rowe in there just because I don't feel like fixing it. Okay. So there's our AHL team. And our NHL team is kind of set up. Uh, I need your guys' opinions on the uh, changes that we made. Really the only uh, big change thing that we have to uh, really decide on is the fact if we want to put um, Morgan Klimchuk uh, on this team or not. Because, like I said, I'll show you his stats. He's got the really good offensive category that can definitely get him by in the NHL, but we just don't know if we want to play him on the third line. If we play him on the third line, somebody has to get dropped down to the fourth line. And uh, But we really don't have anybody that can take the face-offs rather than Monaghan and Hart for the third and the fourth line, which is why I don't really want to drop one of them off. And I don't want to drop Nick Cousins off to the fourth line, even though they'll put some scoring up. I want to have a nice grind DS. Third line, fourth line here. So you guys will have to give me your opinion on that. What should we do with that? But other than that, I think we're pretty much all set up, except for the one change that we're going to do this year is shift Claude Giroux to the wing, put Hunter Shinkrook in the center to take face off, see if that'll change anything ex uh, at all. But we're still going to leave Galchenyuk on the right side. So that's basically it. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll take it from there. Hopefully we will start the simulation for year eight in the next video.